Technology is very important to every aspect of the world today. The direction of technology is moving very quickly. Nevertheless, many of the directions of technology in terms of robots and jobs and cyber warfare and, and many other areas like that were addressed by Norbert Wiener 50, 60 years ago. This conference is going to bring back the threads of his discussion and present, uh, re-examine those solutions and present those solutions to the world today. The conference next year is very interesting. It's 120 years ago since uh, 2014, uh, since uh, Norbert Wiener was born and 50 years since he died in 1964. And one of the things about Norbert Wiener was he was very much, very far ahead of his time. So in the 50 years since he died, many of his ideas have went out of fashion and now in the last 10, 15 years they're coming back into fashion as we actually have the ability to prove or to test the theories that he put forward. And this, is, this means that, for example, his most cited paper uh, today is one he wrote in 1938 on uh, polynomial chaos expansion, but that wasn't actually uh, implementable until about 2000 when computers actually had the, uh, were smart enough or fast enough to, uh, to implement that application. Norbert Wiener was ahead of his time in quite a few different ways. Uh, he was ahead of his time in terms of the technology he talked about, the solutions he talked about, and also his approach to the impact of technology on society. He, he saw that technology was going to have particular impacts, and he paid a lot more attention to that than many of the people around him. The impact that technology has had since that time has been very significant. Today there are many discussions on the impact of uh, robots on jobs, uh, the impact of technology in general on warfare, the development of cyber warfare, the, uh, the importance of understanding that all the decisions we make about technology are choices and we have to then live with those choices. Norbert Wiener also made the point that we simply aren't smart enough to program a computer to do exactly what we want it to do in the future. We have to constantly monitor and watch for the things that those computers are doing because we don't have the ability to predict the unpredictable as we, as we program them. There are a couple of outstanding things for me about Norbert Wiener. One of them is, that, is his non-deterministic view of the world. The world is not just a machine with cogs which is simple to understand. The world, the world is made up of lots and lots of an infinite number of real life possibilities and events. And this makes it very difficult to predict things. But on the other hand, it means if we are able to use very, very advanced tools on how to predict things, it can be extremely powerful. The other one is his intellectual honesty, his, his statement that if you start to solve a pro if you start to follow a problem if it's an interesting problem if it's not an interesting problem you're under no obligation but if it's an interesting problem you are under an obligation to follow that problem through wherever the solution takes you so in Norbert Wiener's case it meant he didn't stop when something moved between the engineering or the or the uh, biomedical he didn't stop he was an early advocate of the connection of the life sciences connection with technology. It meant that if you start going in a direction and you have to engage with people completely outside of your field, then you have to do it. If you have to, under, if you have to engage with forces within society to make them aware of where the technology is going or to ask them about where they want the technology to go, you have to do it, you have an obligation. And it was that willingness to move in any direction to follow interesting problems to their solution, wherever that solution was, that makes him very, very flexible and very, very relevant for today. I've been to academic conferences where you submit a paper, you go along, there are more people on the panel than in the audience, you present your paper, you go back, you get credit for it, and that was it. It's a, there are some very, very uninteresting conferences out there. And we've kept that in, in mind as we've designed this conference. 
this is this conference is going to be about engagement this is this conference is not going to be the specialists in a very narrow area getting together for three days and focusing on developing that narrow area further i'm not criticizing that for the moment that provides a lot of value in many fields that but that's not this conference this conference is about picking out those fields that norbert, norbert Wiener himself drew together in the life sciences in in philosophy in uh, in terms of ethics, in terms of a whole range of psychology, a whole range of things that he brought together and bringing those people back together to have that conversation, to try to help knit together those streams that he brought together in the 1940s at the Macy Conferences, he and his colleagues. This conference is going to be a very special conference to attend. It's, get, it's got very high profile keynote speakers at it. It's got a great bunch of panels. It's got a great uh, list of uh, activities. And it's going to be, we, we've designed it so there's lots of opportunity for engagement, for discussion, for developing those ideas, panels across disciplines, all of those things. The other thing is this conference is going to be the culmination of discussions taking place for six months before the conference. We'll be encouraging people who have submitted papers from similar backgrounds to talk with each other and to, and to talk to other relevant fields outside of their area to, to build a discussion so that the conference is actually a culmination of that discussion. This conference is going to be a conference to be at in person. And finally, you, when, when you're there, you will hear people who hear from people who worked with Norbert Wiener, people who are now in their late 70s and 80s, talking firsthand about the experience of collaborating with Norbert Wiener. And this is going to be very special. There is nowhere else you'll get that experience. Technology today is at a turning point. We're looking at the impact on jobs. We're looking at the impact on warfare. We're looking at the impact on human survival. The answers we need today have been thought about by great thinkers in the past. Norbert Wiener was one of those great thinkers. His solutions are relevant today.